Uh, hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this stitch right here. It is worked over six rows and essentially what we're going to be doing is increasing five rapidly, knitting four rows, and then decreasing those five stitches back down and we get kind of this teardrop shape. Uh, so on your first row of this pattern, that's where we're going to be doing this increase. So I will show you how to do that. Uh, the increase is knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit into one stitch. So essentially from this one stitch, we're going to be creating five. So this is where we want our thing to be here. So we're, we're going to knit. We're not going to take that off the needle yet. We're going to do a yarn over onto our right needle. We're going to knit into that stitch again and still keeping it on there. Yarn over onto our right needle again and then knit into that stitch one more time and then take it off. So now we have one, two, three, four, five stitches from that one. Okay, I've got myself set up to work one more of these stitches. So we'll go over it one more time here. We're going to knit yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit, take the stitch off. There we go. And that's our five, making five stitches out of one. So the next four rows of this stitch pattern are all going to be worked the same. Um, essentially what we're going to be doing is just purling all the purls and knitting all the knits, which includes these five that we made on the previous row. So I'll just show you how one of those looks. So we're going to purl up to our five stitches here and then just knit across. One, two, three, four, five. Purl to our next one. and then knit across our five stitches. And as you can see, they're quite tight together here. So just make sure you're really going through and getting one at a time and you're not accidentally knitting two together. Um, this is especially for the first row um, like this. On the next three rows, it'll just be like knitting and purling. You won't have to worry about them being so squished together. Three, four, five. And so that's what you do for the next four rows. Okay, so now comes the really tricky part of this stitch pattern. We have to get all those five stitches into one stitch uh, with a knit five together. Now, I actually have this hat that I'm working on. This needle is smaller than this one. Um, when I'm working in the round, I just find it's easier to flow. And even with the smaller needle here, Knitting five together through the front loops is really difficult. It gets really tight and you can do it. You can squish your needle in there and try your hardest. Um, I'm not actually going to do it <laughs> because it's really difficult um, and it's not fun. So what I suggest is to use a crochet hook um, and I use a one smaller than my knitting needle is quite a bit smaller. This is a two millimeter. Um, the knitting needle that I'm using is a size US six, which is a four millimeter. So about half the size. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these five stitches entirely off this needle, uh, put my crochet hook through, and then I'm going to use my crochet hook to loop some yarn around and pull the yarn through. Uh, so I will demonstrate how I'm going to do that. We'll just kind of make sure our yarn is to the back here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to pinch this whole thing with my thumb and take these five stitches right off. So don't let those go because those will go flying. I'm going to use my crochet hook and I'm just going to put it through all five of those stitches. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to use my yarn, click it around, and then use that hook to draw it through. 
and we'll just transfer this loop from the crochet hook on to your right needle and give it a really nice tug. It doesn't have to be super tight, but just give it a nice snug tug. And that is how you can do a knit five together with a crochet hook instead of having to fight with it. So I'm gonna work across to our next one and I'll show you that one more time here. Okay, so I'm back to my five knit stitches of this little raindrop stitch. Put your yarn to the back, pinch all the five of those stitches and just gently take them off the needle of your crochet hook. Put it through all five of those stitches. Loop your working yarn around and pull a loop through. And then just put that loop onto your right needle. And there we go. It does take some finesse. It takes a little bit of uh, practice to get this good. As you can see, I've done this many, many, many times before. So if it's not quite working the first time, um, keep at it. <laughs> it does make things quite a bit easier than just knitting five together. All right, so that is the little raindrop stitch here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.